Hello everybody, welcome to a new let's play that I'm gonna do. I'm doing this like back to back together with the uh, Terraria let's play to just switch between them. I find it really, I find it one of the better ways to make videos just to switch between different games otherwise you go insane. So, um, like almost everybody has played Super Mario World, which is understandable, it's a really good game. But I decided to, you know what, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. Like some time ago I was very interested in Super Mario World Roma Hacks. I was like, hmm, okay. I actually want to see what, what what some people can make out of this. I found a couple of them. I'm not sure how many of them I'm gonna play. I already played one of them. I already completed one of them. I tried to play this one, but this one is really hard for some kind of reason. For some kind of reason I was struggling through it like mad. So, um, I decided to enter in the cheat codes that have infinite lives, otherwise I'm gonna literally go insane from going game over. Also, when I go absolutely insane, I might also use save states. It's a ROM hack, so it's not always balanced or not always good or whatever in some kind of a way. So I'm gonna allow myself to use cheat codes. I'm sorry, not cheat codes. Well, I already allow myself to use cheat codes. I'm gonna allow myself to use save states whenever I go absolutely mad because I only got like halfway through the game. Because as you can see, the game's called the 12 Magic Orbs and there are 12 worlds. I got to world six and I failed at the first level, but at a time, so yeah. Here we go. Are you ready for some, for some, some probably screamy stuff? I'm gonna erase my original one, cause yeah, uh, there we go. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Mario, Bowser stole the 12 magic orbs, and now he is using them to create a new source of power for him. And that's it. That's all the story you get. Right, you can actually go into Grassfield 1.0 or 1 slash 0 Peach's Castle. Let's see, what can we find in here? We can find Peach. And she will give you a mushroom. Wow. Didn't even notice that. Hmm, I thought I could press the X button to do the spin also. I, wait a second though, because there's a couple of new stuff in this, right? Or am I wrong? Oh yeah, this is where the 12 magic force would be. And I need to activate all the blocks before I can go in here. Yeah. I might also need to look something up every now and then for secrets or whatever that I can't find on my own. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can on my own, but... This is pretty dang insane, so trust me, um, <laughs> I might look for some help. Pipeline grass dance. Let's go. Also, some new music. It's not only new levels and all the jazz, also new music. This ROM hack absolutely loves to use these fucking Koopas, and it's driving me insane. It's probably one of my least favorite things about this, this entire ROM hack. Yep. Good old fire flower. It could be added like in the first episode that the music isn't that amazing. Or, like, I'm sorry, the, the, the sound quality isn't that amazing, but... If so, I'll get it fixed. In the next episode. Or by the time that the next episode gets uploaded. As you can see, I love using that. Also love using charging trucks. Oop. Since I don't really know the behavior of all of the enemies in... The Super Mario World game, or like it does Super Mario World game, actually. Yeah, no, but in Super Mario World, that means that I'm. You're, I, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. That's that's one thing that I want to mention. I'm absolutely not sure where this is gonna go. I only want it. Well, I actually just want to complete this because I personally think that this 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 ROM hack is freaking awesome, but it's also balls to the walls hard. So, yeah. But you know what? As you noticed with some other playthroughs, I tend to like some hard things. That's what she said, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Not pipeline, but pipeline. There's, of course, also a tiny amount of glitches, but that doesn't matter much. I don't remember it being this zoomed in. Has Super Mario World also always been this zoomed in? It's been a while since I played the original, so... That is why I ask the question. Wait, there has to be a secret down here. Yep. If you collect all of those star coins in this game, you will get a 1-up. 
if you're wondering. There you go. You also probably noticed that the HUD has been totally changed, because usually it, it's a lot different from the normal Super Mario World, but they decided to go with the style from Super Mario, uh, Mario Bros. 3, which I like. I like that style quite a lot. The one thing that they did, like, uh, in, in the original Super Mario World also, I think, whenever you lose or whenever you get hit, you go all the way back to being Tiny Mario. In one other ROM hack that I was playing before this one, you, that that wasn't the case, which I really liked. I really liked the fact that I didn't have to give a single crap about. Like whenever I got hit, I would still hold on to my, I want to Super Mario, I guess you can call it. Yeah. I don't need no stinking shells. Die. No. I just had to be cocky. Yes, in this plus play, you're gonna see. You're gonna see my true Mario skills. Or lack thereof. <laughs> uh, I think I have to press the select button to get my item. Yeah, there you go. I've also been looking like before I did, uh, or before I. Well, actually, at a certain point, I just gave up on this game. <laughs> and I decided to go and look up how to. Like, what the rest of this game would look like. That's also the reason why I know it gets pretty like, insane. Um. I decided to look it up, but when I looked it up, I noticed that, which is normal, of course, because it's, it's it's a ROM hack. Not a lot of people know ROM hacks, especially not this one, I guess. There are a couple of well-known ROM hacks, but this one isn't one of them, even though I personally think it's one of the better ones. Uh, but well, yeah, there was no, there was a, there was like, there were some let's plays of it, but there was not a single let's play, I think, with commentary. And if there was commentary, it wasn't, it wasn't good. Not that I'm gonna say that I'm good, but. I don't know, man. I don't think I'm hor horrifyingly bad when it comes to giving commentary, so... Now, I don't think you get any points for breaking the pole at the gate. Yeah, you don't. Alright, no problem. Alright, let's see. Uh, 1-2. So, whenever you see the little lock symbol at the end of, like, uh, like... Future me, just put a freaking arrow to it. Over there, whenever you see the lock, it means there's a secret. Whenever you see one of these things, it means that there is a switch of some kind, I think. Or that you need a switch. I don't know, actually. <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? The Mushroom Hills. This is gonna be pretty horrible, isn't it? Whenever I hear, like, whenever I think about Mushroom Levels, I honestly have to think about, like, the levels from, uh... From New Super Mario Bros, which is a game from my childhood, basically. New Super Mario Bros. Uh, and then you had, like, levels where you had to... Do platforming around the mushrooms, and usually those levels would be horrible. Well, it would just be difficult, really. It would be awesome levels, but pretty difficult to play. Right, charge and truck, using his shoveling skills. These blocks hurt you for some kind of reason. I st still to this day have no idea why, but they do. Right. Dang. I should be able to make that though. Yeah, sure, definitely if I do that. Doesn't matter, I'll come back to that later. The annoying thing about the fact that there are charging trucks, like, thrown around everywhere in this game is because the charging trucks are probably one of the most difficult enemies to deal with. Also one of the enemies that you can play a lot with, I'd say. Oop. No, no, I want to get this block. I also- No! I also think that there's, uh, like, if I had freaking wall jumping and a spin jump, like in Super Mario Bros, I probably would have been able to survive, but yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the harsh world of Super Mario World, or the or, or the old Mario games, that is. So uh, this mod pack, uh, or mod pack, this, oh, uh, huh? This uh, this ROM hack, I keep wanting to call it a mod or a mod pack because I'm I'm not used to saying a ROM hack. This ROM hack also has a couple of new items, I think, a couple of new powers. Why did I die? <laughs> Uh, doesn't matter. Good. If you're interested in playing this ROM hack, uh, I'm not gonna explain to you how to download ROM hacks. Or, well, I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna explain any of that, of the ROM hack stuff. But trust me, if you're ever like, you know what, I just want more Super Mario Worlds, play this ROM hack. Also another one that I might show off later on. I still have no idea if I'm gonna do that. Or not. Totally depends on if I'm in the mood to do that. 
right now I just was in the mood, well I was doing the Terraria shenanigans and I was in the mood for also doing Let's Play together with it. And this is that's what has become because for some kind of reason I always return to very difficult platformers. Yep. I don't care about the coin, I only care about my life at this point. There we go! Unfortunately, you don't get to hear the wow from the original game. Huh. There's a pipe that I could probably enter, so I'm gonna go back into the stage. Boom, 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 Yoshi. Bonk. Get dunked on, bitch. Okay. I need to find a way into that pipe. There could be some invisible blocks that I don't know about. Also, this... I'm not sure if this game has it, but I think that they almost, like in this ROM hack and also in the other one, they decided to remove the uh, the cape, which makes a lot of sense because the cape is ridiculously overpowered. But uh, yeah, that makes the game also a lot more difficult because... I'm sorry, but when you play Super Mario World, you're so used to having the cape that when you don't have the cape, the game actually shows you how difficult it is. I don't think I'll be able to do this, so screw it, I'm out of here. I'll come back to this later. Alright, stage one, dash three. Grassy cave. They should have called it Mossy Cave. Actually, no. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, yikes. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> the music is also pretty dang glorious, I'd say. That's actually one of the biggest things that appealed me to this particular ROM hack. Just the music. And also the level design. I quite like the way that the levels look. Aside from that, I am unsure what to tell about the... Like what to say about the level design, because I... I kind of suck at this game. I kind of suck at Super Mario World. I'm not gonna lie. Like in New Super Mario Bros. In basically any of the New Super Mario Bros. games. I can, like, I'm not afraid to do some pretty risky, uh, or some, or try to at least do some cool moves or whatever. In this game, however, whenever I try to do something that comes even close to being cool, I tend to die. <laughs> I do like this rendition of the song. Even though I love the original version more. Because of nostalgic reasons, I guess. And let me run from this charge and check. Ooh. Having to deal with some of these spike tops. You know what? I can talk about this right now. So, when I was. Uh, like, the reason. It might sound very weird because I wasn't born in. Fuck me. That was the ice flower. That's actually a pretty good power. I wasn't born in, uh, like, or, I'm sorry, I wasn't born. I didn't... Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't really have the, like, nostalgia when it came to the Super Nintendo in the way that you would expect it, like, having a Super Nintendo and playing it and all that. No. My experience with, especially with Super Mario World, is just, like, being online, going to, like, those online little game websites, Going online to those little game websites, and then I would, uh, then there would be a couple of Mario things with it, and a lot of those things are like really small games for really small versions of Super Mario World. That's why this particular game is such a nostalgic game for me. Unfortunately, being nostalgic to me doesn't particularly make me good at the game. Not always, in any case. In this game, not really, no. <laughs> Super Mario World is hard. It's hard. I don't care what anybody says. Super Mario World is hard. Especially... Especially when you don't have the cape. Alright, I remember this part because it sucked. I have a feeling that I'm going to be saying that a lot, by the way. 
the, I remember this part because it sucked. Because there's a lot of sucky parts in this ROM hack. Especially this, because I don't really know how to properly deal with that. Because those platforms, they fall really fucking fast. And then the bats are in your way, of course. Once again, I'm not sure if I'm doing anything wrong. Like, it could just be me being bad at Super Mario World, but I have no idea. It's actually kind of... That's a little bit what I'm hoping, like, that some people are watching this that actually are good at Super Mario World. And then they can figure it out, uh, figure it out for themselves if this mod, uh, if this uh, ROM hack is really difficult or not. Get the hell out of here. Is there gonna be an enemy thrown at my face? No. <laughs> Freaking Pokemon music. This game is also filled with a lot of, like, re-imaginings, I guess you can call them. From, uh, other games. Like, for instance, Pokemon. Vine Valley. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, I guess you just ate the freaking coin. Alright, then. Yeah. I was thinking. I was thinking for a second, like, was this a mistake? <laughs> yes, it was definitely a mistake. Boom, 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 boom. Love the music, though. Dang it. <laughs> Probably one of the better things to do is use your spin jump to insta kill a lot of these Koopas. You may also notice like a graphical glitch or two, but well, it's from hack. Don't expect it to be perfect, because it usually isn't. Uh -huh. Get me out of here! Yep. It of course doesn't really help that I'm getting hits, which means that I... <sighs> Usually when I get a power-up, I almost instantly get hit after it. Which means that I uh, can't really hold on to a lot of my powers. Which means that I'm, uh, I'm gonna make the game even more difficult for myself. <laughs> That's something that I noticed after a while. Uh, back her off. I think it might be a good idea for me to get a shell. Really? Hmm? That's what we're gonna do. Alright then. Screw that freaking cloud. Screw going up there. Got the checkpoints. Alright. All the freaking giant dinosaurs. Enemies that you would usually just encounter in the sixth world or something. You also wouldn't really encounter paratroopers this early in the game, I think. These things can breathe upwards, that's why I was getting out of the way. Nope! I was actually pressing the spin button, but that didn't work. The game decided to be like, nah, nah. You ain't gonna spin. You don't got no da -da -da. freaking skills. Fuck me. Once again, I love the freaking design of this game. But the level design is a little bit... Uh, a little bit insane, I'd say. I usually tend to have a lot of issues following what's going on on the screen. But I have a feeling that I'm making all of just really dumb. And bad mistakes. Like I said, with like the zooming in, I'm not sure if like the original Super Mario World was this zoomed in. I don't know. Thing I do know is that I'm already, I'm already screwing up. Well, it's not as bad as before. Like, I think the first time I played this ROM hack, I was dying in the first stage constantly. I was actually game overing in the, in the first stage, because I wanted to try and do this legitimately. But then I noticed how insane this is going to get, so... Oh no! That's the best thing to do. I have to continuously do this, because... It just, it just gets rid of freaking enemies. I should just replace my jump button with that. Wait. You 
fucking bastard. Of course I had to put an enemy like that over there. The people who made this ROM hack know what the hell they're doing. To make it difficult in any case. Of course you could also be like it could be debated like normal Super Mario World is already really easy, so that's probably the philosophy they went on. That the normal game is already really easy, so they decided to make it more difficult. It's with a lot of ROM hacks from Fire Emblem also. A lot of people think that the normal Fire Emblem games are too easy and then they make their ROM hacks and they decide to make it a little bit more difficult. Which I actually personally don't like that much because I like my games to be... Well, I also like difficulty, but usually I like my games to be at least a little bit easy going. I don't want to... I don't want to constantly get fucked over in every way that I can imagine. Oh well. You know, I think that this uh, might be a good time to end of the episode. Well... I'm almost at the end of the world though. Even though I do think I'm gonna struggle with the next stage probably so. I hope you enjoyed this episode just for where I was playing Super Mario World. Uh, what's it again? The 12 Magic Orbs. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.